Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May 14th of 2022. Well, it is titled Ice Halos by Moonlight. So what do we see here? Well, here is an image of the almost full moon from April the 15th, just a month ago. And when we see the moon through various ice crystals in the sky, we see a lot of patterns that appear. Now, the moon itself is uh, towards the center and we can label to identify it, although the moon is pretty easy to see. But let's go ahead and label some of the other things here. And what we see off to the left and the right are the moon dogs. So there is an arc. A halo around the moon at a distance of 22 degrees and at the edges of that going through we see the two moon dogs bright areas around that now we can see these with the Sun as well so the Sun can do a, the same kind of thing when the light is refracted and reflected through ice crystals in the shape of hexagons in the clouds so were you looking at this on an object without an atmosphere Sphere, say from the moon, you would just have seen the moon there or maybe in this case, say the Earth, as you were looking out. However, because you're looking at it from an object with an atmosphere, you therefore get this can get this type of pattern because of the clouds. Now we can see that when it's everything works just right, we get a number of different arcs. And we can see several of those up above the light pillar going up from the moon. And then a couple of arcs up above uh, that we see way well heading well up towards the top of this image. And we can also see a couple of stars labeled here off to the left. We see the bright star Arcturus identified and off to the right and above we see the bright star Regulus. Now we know that the full moon occurs every month and you don't necessarily get a view like this because it will depend on the specific conditions and the ice crystals in the upper atmosphere that can form this. However, the coming full moon, which will occur tomorrow, will actually be very interesting as well. And we know this in advance because tomorrow will be a lunar eclipse and the full moon will be blocked out as it passes into Earth's shadow. So as the moon orbits the Earth, it will at some points pass into Earth's shadow and that would occur during the time of full moon. And when it does that, it does not get any direct light from the sun. And in fact, it will turn a very deep blood red at the uh, at the peak of this and you would be able to see a very bright a uh, very dark red moon full moon uh, tomorrow night from the right locations if you happen to be in areas where the moon will be up above the horizon during the eclipse during the time of the eclipse during the time when the full moon actually occurs. And this eclipse will be visible from much of the eastern half of the United States and eastern portions of Canada, uh, much of Central America and all of South America and the vast majority of Antarctica will be able to see this uh, eclipse. Other areas will see partial uh, parts of the eclipse and some of those such as Asia and Australia will not get to see this eclipse at all. So it really just depends on where the eclipse happens to be where the moon happens to be above the horizon during the time that the eclipse occurs. So that was our picture of the day for May 14th of 2022. It was titled Ice Halos by Moonlight. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Colors of the Moon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.